All right, guys, I'm still thinking about what I'm going to call this series. I'm always dropping these build series on you before I even finish another project, but that's just the way it goes. So I found for the folks, I, I put this on my community page, but not a lot of people see that. I picked up a Nimble Nomad like about a week ago here in Palaka. Cheapest one, guaranteed. You can see it's been sanded down. Story in a nutshell is the guy died like five years ago, and it's just been sitting ever since behind a fence, and I spotted it and asked some questions, picked it up cheap. It's got a few issues, including having to work out the title, which I don't think is gonna be a problem. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna, it's so cheap. It, I mean, like, you, you know, for those that don't know, these things fetch like between 20 and 30,000 bucks um, when they're, you know, turnkey ready to go. And I paid a fraction of that for this one. So I'm gonna learn how to paint. I've never painted a boat before, so I'm gonna get some good paint. Um, paint this one up I've got a I've got a you can see right here behind me that's what is this let me see right over there there we go that motor is a 2003 Johnson 40 horse four stroke um, which is really just a Suzuki four stroke that they that Johnson put their stickers on so if you ever see one cheap it, they're usually cheap because people don't the, the Johnson name's not as popular as you know Honda's Yamaha Suzuki's and stuff Got that super cheap up in Kentucky about a month ago, and it's going to go around the back. It's a perfect fit for this Nomad. It's like these two things were coming together before I even knew about them. So my buddy here is just so generous with his time. He's the one building the super shanty. He doesn't like to be on film at all, which is cool. You know, he still lets me film, but I've got to kind of keep it a secret. You know, just where he is and stuff like that, because he's so busy, and not everyone likes to be on camera. But... Uh, my plan is I'm going to put this thing together for next to nothing. This is going to be the absolute cheapest Nimble Nomad in the country. And it's going to be functional, four-stroke powered. I'm going to leave it down here in Florida is my thinking. At first I was thinking about selling it, you know, because I always got to try to make some money. But this thing, no one, you know, by the time I fix it up and everything, then what's the point, right? It just becomes one of those things. Like either you buy it and you take it on yourself. There was a few people interested. I'm rattling right now. I know I'm just prattling away. But... Anyways, I think I've decided I'm going to keep it, even though I really don't need it. But the plan is I'm just going to leave it down here in Florida. And then I can just ride my scooter down here in the winters. I don't have to drive my truck and drag a big boat and stuff. I could just move right on this boat, launch it in the water, get someone with a truck to launch it in. I could be on the waterways. And when I'm done, bring it back to where I started and go back up north, live on the barge, things like that. So plans coming together, but stay tuned. See if it happens. <laughs> Alright guys, there we go. Motor on the back of the Nomad. This is going to be the cheapest Nomad in America. Okay guys and gals, so I'm going to pressure wash it now. It is. It looks like it got dragged up from the bottom of Lake Superior or something. It's been sitting on the deck of the Titanic. It's going to look a whole lot better when it's finally clean. So, how about if I do some pressure washing and I'll show you guys along the way. Yeah, so so my buddy has a forklift at his work here and he has a cage. Look at this, I'm in one of those cages like you see when guys are working on power lines and stuff. Raises me up, let me turn the phone around. How cool is this? Stand in the cage. I don't even have to climb all over the boat. Awesome.
right guys, I'm gonna show you a little before and after effect. We basically got one side done and let me turn the phone around. So this would obviously be the before. No wonder no one saw any potential in this boat and it sat for years. What a mess. But wait, what's this? It's like a new boat. These Nimbles were built so well that, I mean, they're overbuilt. They're tanks, they're tanks on the water. Vagabond, Nomad, I don't know about the others because I never had another model, but I know these are tanks. This is my third Nomad that I've picked up, by the way, guys. Sold the first two, obviously. But yeah, coming together nice. Now I gotta learn how to paint a hole. Okay guys, well here it is. First layer of grime, maybe even the second layer of grime taken off of it. Pressure washed, looking a heck of a lot better. Nimble did a great job on the color schemes on these with that cream color on top and the, the green holes. As far as I know, every Nimble ever made had the same, same color scheme from the factory. Well, good morning guys and gals. So I wanna do a little side-by-side -side comparison while I have these two boats in the same place. Um, let me just turn the phone around, let's get to it. So folks that don't know, this is a Nimble Vagabond. I believe it's a 92. This is a Nimble Nomad, and I believe it's a 94. And just for, you know, newbies, quick, Lee, um, <clears throat> This one, this one I'm keeping, I've been building up for a while. It's my second Vagabond. They only made about 30 of them. Um, I think we only know where like three or four of them are, are, so there's probably a lot of them stuck in barns and behind fences somewhere, probably in Florida here. I'll keep looking. And these Nimble Nomads, they're more common. I think they made 300 and something of them between, uh, what was it, maybe 2000, or I'm sorry. 1991 and into the early 2000s, I believe. They might still make them like just once in a while. I've looked on their website. I'll link the website below. Um, and I've had three of these. I've sold the first two. Maybe I'll tell that story sometime. Uh, and this one I just spotted like a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, um, just right here in town, like three miles away from my buddy's place in Palaka here. And Went and knocked on some doors, asked some questions. They were ready to sell it. It's been sitting for about five years. They obviously got about halfway into a refurb process. And then actually the the, store, the guy died. So that's probably pretty common too, which is another good reason to chase your dreams while you can, you know. Uh, I need to paint that hole, obviously. But the hole has been, you know, completely sanded down, ready to go. I can't find any, you know, cracks or holes or major flaws in it. So I've never painted a hole, but I do have a... Someone I'm in contact with that also has a nimble, and he's given me some good leads to follow on the right paint and such. Yesterday we pressure washed it. We've probably already seen in this video. And I picked up, wasn't even sure what I was going to use this motor for, but uh, got this Johnson four stroke, which are just Suzuki's. People call them John Zuki's. There's rebadged Suzuki's. It's EFI 40 horse, perfect fit for this boat. Um, and for now, I'm just going to park it. It's going to be a future project, but you know, it's a good start. We've got to, got the grime off of it, got the motor on it. And my buddy's going to let me park it behind the fence here. And this one, of course, we've been working on for a while now. As you can tell, my buddy is a aluminum guy, aluminum welder what he does for a living and he's been able to see this kind of stuff would take years for me to do on my own but when you have the right tools and the skills you can just whip it out in like a matter of hours or a day 
that rack is so handy for carrying you know these they're only 20 feet long so you, you got to do everything you can to keep your stuff out of your way you know and leave this the living space you know living space so that rack is handy to say the least just the, the, these back rails were the last thing that I say we but he did most of it I just helped you know of course um, <clears throat> but today we might we might make a little elevated fishing ca casting platform I'll put a picture right here to show you kind of what we're thinking we're gonna look at some look and see if we got the materials around and maybe we'll make that today uh, so yeah guys nimble vagabond nimble nomad project I've got too many boats if I didn't have my barge I would be keeping this nomad but my barge really does more or less the same thing I mean I to tell you the truth I might keep it anyways because you know why not I'll probably have about two grand into it by the time I'm done if that maybe more like mine. got that motor really cheap um, said this a couple times already but if you do see a johnson four stroke they're usually a lot cheaper because the johnson name just doesn't have the same you know kind of i don't know clout behind it and they're not even johnson's they're just suzuki's so if you can live with that johnson name on it then get a lot cheaper and suzuki's are great motors um yeah and i i paid next to nothing for that boat to tell you the truth a fraction of what they're worth when they're ready to go so that's why I picked it up. I just couldn't resist. I need to put that front door. It's got French doors on it. The, the Nomads do. And I need to find the hinges inside somewhere. Hopefully they saved them. I'll put it on before I store it for a while. But for now, I'm going to hook up to the Vagabond. And we're going to pull it around the front. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So if we needed further proof that I'm on a real roll here, <laughs> being blessed, I my buddy was like, can you think of anything? I, I haven't even shown you guys these back side rails yet. I'm going to do a full Nosy Beagle boat review on this boat when it's done, which is, will be soon. Last night he's like, can you think of anything else you could put on your boat? And I was thinking about it. I really couldn't think about it. And then I remembered that they they make these casting platforms you know like on the flats boats down here in florida when they um i'll show you a picture right about now and it's a it's a platform that elevates you up off the water like a few feet some of them are really high some of them you know are like towers and then you can kind of see down the water and you cast for fish and it also just gives you another place especially if you have a smaller boat so he's got the material around kind of you know scrap from other projects and we're whipping it up today and so I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so about six, seven hours, I would say, and my buddy came up with that. I'm going to show you guys a lot more in detail of all these welded aluminum add-ons that we have done to this boat, but I'm going to kind of do it all in one video when I do it, because I've never even really shown you guys this boat. You know, I never did like a Nosy Beagle boat review yet, so I'll mostly save it for that, but I'm going to turn the phone around for a second, just kind of give you guys a, a sneak peek. Okay, for those that don't know, these are like... I'm still learning too. This is a different kind of fishing for me. You know, this is more like flats for flats fishing. They also call these pull, pulling platforms. So you can stand up there and take a long pull and you can, if you know it's really shallow, you're in the shallows, you can kind of move your boat along, right? Now, normally they're different kind of boats entirely than this, but there's no reason why this can't work. And you can also stand up there, sit up there. I've already stood up there and sit up there. And uh, you can cast, and you can get a you can get a view, you know, of the, you're kind of above the water. And if you're in clear water, you can see where the fish are. You can see the structure underwater and stuff like that. Um, also, it'll work as a I can stand right there, and we made it a good height to be able to put a um, 
a cutting board up there and then fillet fish and eventually I'm going to put a, a power wash down pump in somewhere, wire it in with a hose and I can and I can just have my own hose up there to clean off the guts and stuff like that. So, I mean, this this boat, it's literally turning into the into the Swiss Army knife of boats. So, but we'll we'll talk more about this soon.